Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be going to Universal Studios Hollywood to do our weekly update of the park. So the last time we were here, they were, they were actually going to open up a new restaurant over here in City Walk, which is called Chick Chick Chicken, which it's actually opened up now. Uh, I think they open at 11 a.m. daily, but right now it's currently 8.44, so we're a little too early for that, so we might not try it on this trip, but maybe on our next. So today we got here on time. They open at 9 a.m., but as I always tell you guys in every video, they usually let us in like around 15 minutes before the actual opening time, so... Let's go ahead and make line and head inside. All right guys, so we just got inside the park and I think we're gonna do what we did last time. I think we're gonna skip the stores near the entrance because they don't open until like 15 minutes from now. So just to save some time, I think we're gonna go and check out one of the HHM mazes first. Then we'll probably check out Super Nintendo World. And then I think we'll head to the studio tour since we haven't done that in a while. Wow, do you guys hear that? <laughs> They're definitely working on this maze. And check it out, that was definitely not there on my last trip. They put up some more framing of the uh, the maze. Last time I was here, you can see a little bit of framing being put up on the sides of this area, but now you can see it from the front, and you can see that they're already building the facade, which is just so cool. <laughs> so as usual, I have no idea what that maze is gonna be. I really can't wait till they announce it, but I know there's like a rumor map going around, but I don't wanna like rely on that. I'd rather wait till like they actually come out with like the, the actual like announcements of the mazes. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it as I have no idea what that maze is, but we're heading to the back area of Super Silly Funland, which you can get a nice view of Super Nintendo World. So I really can't wait to see how the construction's coming along. So I'm gonna show you guys two different angles of Super Nintendo World. I'm gonna show you guys this one behind Super Silly Funland, and then I'll show you guys another one when you when I when I start heading down to the lower lot. Um, but it looks like this rock work over here to the left has been uncovered. Last time it was covered up with scrim, so. That's a little bit of an update for you guys. And then, I believe this was not themed the last time I was here, but now it looks like they started adding theming. And then all that green stuff right here that they're putting up, I believe that's like the grassy areas. I think, I looked up a few photos from like, um, Super Nintendo World Japan. And yeah, there's like grassy areas. So I think that's what that is, but. This land is really coming along. <laughs> and then here's a look at the entrance. Doesn't look like too much has changed, but hopefully we start seeing something soon. But as I mentioned, that's gonna be your first angle of Super Nintendo World. And then I'll show you guys the second angle later on. Uh, I think we're gonna go on the tour first and then we'll head down to the lower lot. So I'm heading to the studio tour, but this sign actually caught my eye. Has this always been here? I feel like I've never seen this before. It's for Bumblebee Man's taco truck. Looks like they have tacos, two tacos served on a soft corn tortilla with your choice of marinated meat, onions, and cilantro served with a side of chips and choice of red or green salsa pollo, carnitas, or carne asada. And then they also have Bumblebee Man's Mucho Macho Nachos. <laughs> choice of meat with guacamole, onions, jalapenos, cheese, sour cream, green onions, and salsa. And you can get it with pollo, carnitas, or carne asada. And there's even a QR code in case you guys want to scan it and check that out for yourself. I could be wrong, that sign could have been there for like 10 years, but I have never seen it before. I never noticed it. <laughs> Maybe they like moved it or something. But we are finally heading to the studio tour. And it's pretty cool because look, you can see Warner Brothers Studio way off in the distance. I recently did that, that studio tour and it's amazing. I highly recommend it. If you're from SoCal, it's only $57. And I think if you're from out of town, I think it's $69. But still not bad.
this movement, the gases has come loose. If there are sparks, there could be a fire. He's carrying Marion Crane. Oh boy. Let's quietly get out of here before he sees us. Too late. Well, we just finished with the studio tour, and as always, it was amazing. <laughs> I say it's like every single time. I just love this tour. Um, the only thing I will say is that they're going to be filming American Ninja Warrior in the back lot, like at the metropolitan area. So I feel like for a good while, we're not going to be taken in that area. So that's kind of unfortunate because that's like my favorite part of like the entire tour. But oh well. But anyway, I think our next stop is going to be the lower lot. So we just dropped down a level and I think I'm going to show you guys the maze being built behind the mummy and then I'll show you guys the second angle of Super Nintendo World, but check out that facade. Jeez. They've been really busy with this maze. <laughs> I started just like a little bit of theming and I'm sure it'll be like a dead giveaway, but as it sits right now, I still have no idea what this maze could be. But here's a look at the back. It looks like we're starting to see some black walls up. That's awesome. And then here's the second angle of Super Nintendo World. Wow. This is looking awesome. <laughs> and then here's a look at the entrance. And like I said earlier, doesn't look too different from the last time I was here. So we just made it to the lower lot and I think we're gonna start out with Jurassic Outfitters. Let's go ahead and see if they have anything new in there. Also, I love how Universal has like these misters on. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but they have like little misters on. I love that because I think today is supposed to be like 90 or something. So that's definitely gonna help keep the guests cool. But as I mentioned, we're gonna be heading to Jurassic Outfitters. So there's not a whole lot going on in this store, but there is like one thing that got put back on the shelves, which I think I might pick one up because it's just so cool. Let me go show you guys. The T-Rex zippers have finally been put back on the shelves. Look at that. They were taken down because apparently they were going to put them out for the movie, but I mean, the movie I think comes out in June or in April, so I don't know. Maybe because it's a hot day, maybe that's why they put them out, but they have tons of women in stock and they're $18 and first fill up is free and then $1.50 refills all day which is a steal and then just in case you guys don't remember how this one looks let me go and show you guys again this is so cool <laughs> $18 plus tax I'm guessing you can use your pass discount on this too I'm not sure but I'm, I'm guessing this is too awesome so we just got our awesome T-Rex zipper, and before we leave, I wanted to show you guys this Camp Cretaceous toy. It's a Mega Destroyer's Stegosaurus. I haven't seen this before. So just wanted to show you guys, just in case anybody's interested. It's awesome. This one is $40. So we just left Jurassic Outfitters and check this out. <laughs> this is like the coolest zipper you've ever seen. I was not going to make the same mistake twice. I was like, uh, I have to buy it today because who knows they're going to put it away or sell out. Because last time I was here, that's what happened. I was like, I'll buy it on my next trip and they ended up uh, putting them away. So if you guys do want one of these, make sure you guys buy them like as soon as you guys see it because who knows if they'll put them away or sell out. I feel like they're kind of popular now. But, as I mentioned earlier, you do get the first fill up free, that's what it says here when you buy it. And if you want all day refills, it's actually $1.50, but only for the day you buy the sipper. See, it says all day, today only. So, I thought it was for like any visit, but it's just for today. So I just left the studio store in the lower lot, and there was like literally nothing new, so I didn't even bother filming it. So I think now we're just gonna go get our sipper filled. So I came to Mummy East to get the sipper filled. I think I'm gonna go with the lemonade. And check it out, look, they also sell the T-Rex zippers here as well. 
Sorry for the glare, but you, you can you can see them. <laughs> but now you guys know, if you guys can't find this zipper at Jurassic Outfitters, try checking Mummies because they also have them here as well. But I think that's basically it for the lower lot. I think we're gonna head back up to the upper lot. So we just made it to the upper lot. I think now we're gonna head to the Universal Studio store. I'm really hoping they have something new in here because we haven't had that much luck with merch today. Except for the T-Rex zipper, but that's about it so far. So we're in the little section that they have for Fantastic Beasts. Looks like all the merch is the same. The only thing that's like changed over here is this sign. Check it out. Fantastic Beasts, Secrets of Dumbledore. Comes out this month, April 2022. So I looked around the Universal Studio store a few times and I couldn't find anything new. Uh, I ended up asking a team member if there was anything new today, just out of curiosity. And he said that the only thing that was new today was the T-Rex zippers that I've already shown you guys. I wish there was more new merch, but I mean, this is still good news. At least now you guys know you guys can find it here at the Universal Studio Store. In the upper lot, you can find it at Mummy Eats in the lower lot, and then also Jurassic Outfitters. So I was looking around the same display where they have that T-Rex zipper, and I showed you guys this like toy action figure, I guess you could say, in the lower lot, but it looks like here's another one that they didn't have in the lower lot. They have the Scorpius Rex. Never heard of this one before. But it's pretty cool tail moves this thing is vicious look at that look at the teeth in case you guys are wondering this one is $50 so it's $10 more than the stegosaurus so we just left the Universal Studio store and I will say today was probably not the most exciting day for like new merch but it was still a really fun day um, and at least now you guys know what to expect on your guys' next visit. But anyways, I think I'm in the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.